Well, hey everybody, it's Sandy and welcome back to my channel dedicated to helping you advocate for your own health one topic at a time. So first of all, I just want to say hi and thank you so much for those of you who saw the, the video that I most recently put out. It was just a few days ago. I had been on a sabbatical and kind of wondering if this was for me and nutshell whether I was going to be continuing here on YouTube. I felt like my content had gotten segued, you know, very narrow, and I wasn't sure that I had content that people were really interested in. I threw out a few things that I thought I might talk about, and you guys were really generous with uh, the feedback. I got a lot of feedback, and it was overwhelmingly positive. I was so pleasantly surprised that um, people are interested in some of the things that I said I wanted to start talking about on this channel and sort of move in a broader scope in a different direction. So anyway, here I am, and again... Uh, you know, I apologize for the break. I guess I needed it, though. I, I, I really did. Um, I needed to kind of figure out what I wanted and whether I had something to offer. So thank you for communicating with me. And on that note, uh, one of the things I touched on that I wanted to start talking about uh, that can probably take me a year or two uh, is that I've been recently diagnosed with osteoporosis. Now, I'm just a couple months short of 60. So I'm still 59, but for all intents and purposes, let's say I'm about 60. Um... I wasn't surprised about this diagnosis of osteoporosis. I have celiac disease, that's a risk factor. I have uh, thyroid uh, medication I've been on for years, that's a risk factor. Even when you are euthyroid, meaning your thyroid's been regulated, so it's normal. Um, this notion that going on desiccated thyroid hormone or natural thyroid hormone doesn't cause this is balderdash. Um, the act of metabolizing um, and enhancing metabolism is, it's just, it's nothing that you can replace is as good as what the body had to begin with. So it is one of the risk factors. Um, I do monitor really closely, but nonetheless, celiac disease is a risk factor most likely because of some degree of malabsorption. And I'm already getting some clarity on that. I think I have had some malabsorption. Um, and the other thing is I'm kind of a small woman. I'm of short stature and my mother had osteoporosis. So I, I had a lot of risk factors there. Um, I found myself getting weak over the last few years, like post-menopause, I kind of fell off a cliff. Um, I struggle with osteoarthritis in my knees and that it makes it difficult for me with weightlifting to really load my hips properly. Maybe that's a whole other video. Yeah, so that brings me to the next thing, which is I'm going to start making these a little more concise. I feel like one of the things I struggled with is that I tried to put too much into an individual video. So I'm going to make this a series on osteoporosis, and each video will be devoted to maybe one or two things, one or two aspects. This is going to be devoted to a product that I use. Um, so one of the, I think is going to prove to be a heavy hitter, one of the things I've decided to do in my multi-pronged approach, I always do multi-pronged approaches when I'm going to solve a problem. Um, one of the things I'm doing is adding Algecal, I know this backwards now, right? Because <laughs> of my camera. It's Algecal Collagen Complete. I'll talk about it in just a moment in a little more detail. Um, I just feel like this is one of these things that's like potentially high reward, almost no risk. So I decided I was going to start with collagen and I'm doing a few other things. So there is an ingredient in Ostacal's collagen, in Algecal's um, collagen complete called Forta Bone. There are actually a few different peptides with trademarks after their name, Forta Bone, Forta Gel, and Verisol. And I had read about Forta Bone actually years ago and thought, hmm, I filed that in the back of my mind. If I ever need it, if I ever have an issue with osteoporosis, I'm gonna try it. Um, Forta Bone was studied in albeit very small studies. I believe that the company is in Austria, uh, the company that patented and made Forta Bone. And Forta Bone is also available in a couple of other uh, collagen supplements. Algecal just happens to be one of them. So in the studies done on Forta Bone, they were true, randomized, controlled, placebo-controlled studies in postmenopausal women, albeit they were very small. My guess is probably not very ethnically diverse just because I think they were done in Europe and you're not dealing with places like the United States where you have a hugely ethnic, ethnically diverse population. Um, but nonetheless, they did show uh, statistical significantly different outcomes in the control versus the placebo group. Um, I'm sorry, in the, in the control versus the experimental group, and the experimental group in these studies of you know, postmenopausal women did put on bone density uh, after one year of using this daily and no other differences. Now, I think in one of the studies, actually, they were giving vitamin D, but they were giving vitamin D to both groups. I don't, there was something kind of weird with that. Um, and I'll talk about vitamin D and a few other things in different videos. So... 
I, it's really hard to form thoughts on something like this that you decide you're going to take for a year and then like get retested with your bone density and, and along with all the other things I'm doing. And then if I get a good result, which is of course the best I can hope for because it's very hard to move the needle on osteoporosis in that direction once you're post-menopause. But, you know, when I get to that point, if I get to that point, if I'm so fortunate as to get to the point where I get some good news that I've actually added bone, then of course the dilemma is you don't know which thing did it. So are you gonna to start to take things away? Um, it's a big commitment. So that, that's part of the calculus about what I'll go on. But I do feel like collagen is a fairly low risk, uh, very low risk actually, potentially high reward option. And it's already taught me something really just in the two weeks I've been using it. And I'll tell you what that is. Uh, it goes back to what I had said about probably having some malabsorption with celiac disease. So this is a powder that you dissolve into a liquid, and liquids are pretty easily absorbed compared to foods. Well, you know, this has other things in it where it says it's also for hair and for joints and for skin and for nails. I wasn't looking at it for any of those reasons, so I didn't really give that a thought. Well, I'm also a girl who doesn't really do many petties, and I, I just... I'm kind of unnatural when it comes to things like my nails and my skin. I don't wear a lot of makeup. Um, I couldn't believe the difference in just a couple weeks in my fingernails. My fingernails are always very dry with deep ridges in them, vertical lines, very deep, like wavy. You can feel them. If you run another nail over one nail, you can feel the ridges and they're white and you see this. It, it just, that was just me. I just thought that's me for the rest of my life post-menopause. Well, that's really changed in the last couple of weeks. And the only thing that I've really done too differently is, you know, that I could think of explaining it is this. Um, there's other things I'm doing for osteoporosis, but I don't think they would explain this. Um, and I, it's so drastic that I've had people comment to me, like when we're having dinner with friends or something. I, I mean, that's pretty strange. So I'm going to see if I can get a good angle. Like, you can see that nail bed looks really smooth, right? And I'm trying to get it to grab the light. I mean, there on my index finger, you can see where there's some remnant of ridges, but really you can't feel them. It's very smooth. I mean, there was no, this was not subtle. I wish I'd taken pictures before, but again, I wasn't looking to use the product for this purpose, but it kind of tells me something about the product. And I'm just hoping and praying that I get a similar kind of result with my bones. But uh, I do notice as far as joints now, I'm doing some other things differently with my exercise routine. So that might partly explain any difference in joints. I am getting stronger, the muscles around my knees. So I don't know, I can't really give this too much credit, but um, my hips, before I changed up my exercise routine and since I started using this, I did notice that my hips, which probably have some very mild osteoarthritis, um, that's kind of gone. Now, I can't expect that in something like one of my knees. They're, they're really osteoarthritic. But my hips, the only symptoms I had was it was kind of achy to lay on one side at night. And if I was laying on one side, I'd have to kind of pretty soon flip over and get on the other side or get on my back because it would just hurt my hips pretty quickly to be on one side or the other. That's totally gone. I can lay very comfortably for, for a long time. I mean, I, I don't think there's a limit to it. I can lay very comfortably on either side now. Um, that was right around the time I started noticing the nails, maybe a little bit after. And I thought, wow, it's pretty impressive. So I don't know, um, you know, is this a reflection of what a fantastic product it is? Or is it a reflection that I probably have some degree of malabsorption in my GI tract and this is very easy to absorb? Maybe it's a little bit of both, but that's my experience with this so far. So this, they can pry out of my cold dead hands. I'm going to be keeping it. Um, it is very easy to put into solution. I don't put it in a hot liquid. I know a lot of people do. I, I think if I were going to do that, just to be really certain, I would probably wait until it cooled a little because I'm just worried something too excessively hot might change the nature of some of these things that are supposed to be working for you. I put it in a room temperature or a cold drink. It goes into solution very easily. I've never had any issues with lumping or clumping. I just shake the, you know, I put it in a bottle that's closed and shake it. Um, now, I do have to say I'm not crazy about, like, it foams a little bit and the mouth feel, and I'm kind of picky about that kind of stuff. It says it's flavorless. That is true. And my guess is if you put it in something like coffee that has flavor of its own, you wouldn't even notice this. But like an idiot, I have to, you know, put it in like a cool drink and like in water. And then I, I feel like 
it's not like I can taste it, but I can just tell the mouthfeel is different. It's, it's a little thicker. And then, like I said, sometimes there's a little foam at the bottom of the bottle. So it's nothing bad. It's nothing objectionable. It's nothing that makes me even think twice about taking it or, you know, maybe Ugh, I'm just, no, uh-uh, no, it's done too much good for me. So I'm going to put this down in the description box. I'm going to find what I can about the particular collagen peptide of the different ones that are in here, the Forda bone, which again is the reason I wanted to take it. Um, although it looks like the Verisol and the Ford Gel are doing their job. Let's hope the Ford of Bone is. I'm going to put anything I can find also in the description box on Ford of Bone. Now, when I put this down in the de description box, I'll put a link to this product. It is not an affiliate link, and I'm going to put that clearly. So for those of you who haven't been viewers on my channel for a long time, I don't do affiliate links with things like this, things that are like medicinal, health, safety, well-being. I didn't with things like masks or Enovid spray or supplements I'd recommend. Um, first of all, I think it's too much responsibility for me. And second of all, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's ethical. I, I, it just calls into question your judgment if you have money to make out of things like this. And I don't want to prey on people's fears. It's scary to get a diagnosis like this. It's really scary and it's really easy to get fear driven and start trying every single thing you can and I, I'm trying to do some of these things myself so I can like report to you and that you don't have to. So that's the purpose of my channel so then like it would kind of defeat that purpose to make a commission off of these things. Uh, my respect for people always goes down several notches when they're fully endorsing something like this that has to do with my health and then it turns out that they're invested in it or they you know they have some sort of an interest a monetary interest uh, now when it comes to things that are more like lifestyle you know i have dabbled in that and sometimes i'll do an affiliate link for something like that and i'll put it down below oftentimes i get coupon codes from my viewers again not with any kind of commission for myself just because i try to leverage whatever influence i have to get that i'm trying to do that with algecal i don't know that i'm going to be able to they do have to be honest, a pretty good rewards program. And the cheapest way to buy this is, believe it or not, not the subscribe and save. I don't like subscribe and save. I, I find like if I just get off a little bit, like off schedule with it or something, it just things pile up and I just don't like it. Um, but actually the cheapest way to buy this is not with the subscribe and save, which would come out to be $49 a month. This is a one month supply. It's 30 scoops, 30 servings. Um, the cheapest way is to just buy three of these flat out, and then that's $45 per month. So it'd be if for three of these for $135. So that's cheaper than the subscribe and save, and that's what I do. And then with that, you get a rewards program if you want to enroll. And I've already saved some money because I use another one of their products, which I'm going to talk about in another video. So I hope this was helpful. If anybody has had any experience with the Algecal Collagen Complete, um, please put it down in the comment section and especially if you've been using it for this purpose, if you know your results, if you know, even if it's a little bit up in the air, um, let us know how you're feeling and how it's worked for you. So I hope this was helpful and until next time, be well. Bye-bye.